like sitting on a cloud. Oh. <laughs> it's not it's not actually uh, fully inflated yet, Brent. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hey everybody! In the spirit of openness, I wanted to let you know that this video is sponsored by WD. They reached out to us to see if we would be interested in making a video about their network attached storage device called the MyCloud Pro. I thought this would actually be a really good opportunity to do something a little more educational based and talk about our secret to productivity in the office. Why we're all able to just turn out videos so fast. I hope you enjoy, hope you learn something, and I'm going to finish this homemade reflector. My favorite box cutter. Uh, this is a big old brick of hard drives. Yeah, this guy's a little beast. So the beauty of having a central spot for everybody to access their data is that everybody gets to work on their own computers. You'd never have to transfer a project. It's easy to back up everything. And at the end of the day, it lets you get closer to working at your stream of consciousness. Meaning, you think about something and you do it, and there's very little delay between those two things, which for an artist is very, very important. So according to the instructions, I plug it in and I turn it on. Welcome to WD My Cloud PR4100. All right, next thing I do, I go to the website. Create an administrator password to protect against unauthorized configuration of your MyCloud system. <laughs> um, four, three. That's it. You'll receive an email from mycloud.com with our login info. Holy moly, there's 23.8 terabytes available. It shows me how much data's on it and everything. That's pretty cool. Storage, MyCloud. Get your hats. You got a corridor hat? Everyone gets a piping hot hat. This takes priority, Nico. God dang it, Sam. <laughs> I got everyone hats. You get a hat. Hold on. You if, get a hat. We all get hats. If you, if, you, if you want a hat, you don't need, if you don't need a hat or don't want a hat, you don't need to have a hat. If you wish to devote your life to becoming a hat guy, come with me. I'll show you. Make a little hair unicorn. First take, first try. So I plugged in our MyCloud Pro. It's time to set her up. I promised I'd tell you guys a little bit about the secret to our productivity. We're able to do everything we do so quickly because we right here have our server. All our project files, etc. Meaning we can have our edit on one computer, and you can close it and go and open it on another computer, or you can open After Effects on another computer, and you can all work from the same spot. Using the MyCloud Pro, I'm gonna show you guys how to set this up. So after it's plugged in, it'll show up in my network. And so right here, I have the MyCloud PR4100. Double click on that, boots up, and here we have all our folders. Now what you would do if, you, if you're working with a friend and you had something like this, like the MyCloud Pro on your network, you would access it and you'd go to one of these folders. And you'd right click on it and you'd go to Map Network Drive. And then you can give this folder a drive letter, let's say N for Nico. And boom, there we have it. You hit finish, and that's it. So now if I go to my computer, it shows up as a hard drive on my computer under the drive letter N. Meaning that if anybody else opens up, say, like a Premiere project, everything is quick and easy and instantly accessible from any computer. And that's how you do quick collaboration with friends. Now, there's one thing that's really tripped up people on this in the past. It's not showing up. What's going on? It's because you have your network set to public. Let me show you. Go to my network and sharing center. I'm on Windows 7 here. Home network. If I click on that, a lot of people have it set to public network, which is a problem. That usually turns off file sharing, file discovery, all that kind of stuff. Home network, work network will generally do that. It says, now if you're on Windows 10 or 8 or 8.1, you go into your corner and you'll have a network icon. You click on that. Your little network thing is going to pop up and it takes you to the settings here. Now you're going to click on your network one more time up here. Make this PC discoverable. Turn that on. So to do one more thing. If you pop up in your network, on your computer might say something like, hey, you need to turn on file discovery and sharing. What we can do, we go to change advanced sharing options, and now we're on private, the current profile, and you can just make sure everything's turned on. Turn on network discovery, turn on automatic set network, et cetera, et cetera. Just turn all this stuff on, and you're good. All right, this is our going ham charity fund. When somebody goes too ham on, say, the one wheel, and they biff it, they have to donate to the charity fund. And Ren, since that rule has been in action, just gave us our very first donation today. <laughs> he uh, did that something like count. he did something very similar to that, but it involves less balance. <laughs> well, what should we name this jar? Jarpings jar. Bacon fun, beer fun, biff fun. Ham bones. Ham bones. Ham bones, dude. Throw bones and ham bones. <laughs> ham bones. I'm gonna be the one putting the least amount of money in here. Dude, you got some great shit. Oh! Ooh. That was a bail! That was not a bail. I just got off of it. I don't think that's gonna hold up in a court of Nico. Well, good thing I'm about to delete all this footage. Hey. No! What's up? So that, that MyCloud Pro, it supports Plex. And basically what I can do is I can put videos on it, uh -huh. and I'll automatically transcode them and stream them to 
any device. Literally just throw a file on it and have it start playing. Wait, so the video is not on your phone? The video is not on my phone, it's on the server. And actually it transcodes it live so that it's like giving me a lower bandwidth version. It's not just playing the raw file that I copy on the server, it's actually actively transcoding it. Meaning I can also go somewhere and still access the videos on my phone. Pretty nerdy stuff. <laughs> <laughs> if you're not a nerd, click away right now. You wanted to find a creative way to use 32 terabytes, right? Yeah. In Windows, you got the command prompt. Mm -hmm. You can type in create new as one word and enter. Oh, there it goes. It's writing the file. So we're writing a 20 terabyte file on a 21 terabyte storage. All the lights are blinking. Oh my God. It's so active right now. It's learning. So you waste space right there. I've actually never seen the file that big before. <laughs> There's only 253 <laughs> gigs left. How long does he think this is gonna take? I don't know, it's at 81. We're gonna see how long it takes for a 20 terabyte file to write itself to the server. Here we go. 